Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Yeah. Rankwist here bringing you another installment of Building and Beyond Multiplayer Skyblock Edition. How are you guys doing? I am doing fantastic with an exception of the fact that I keep killing myself. <laughs> uh, I just logged on and uh, bam, hi, we'll get into that in a second. And so I have a great plan for today uh, and one being well I want to show you that which you all know what that technically is but we'll go into some of the buildings um, also I'd like to note real quick um, no that's not right I don't like that private okay um, So yeah, sorry. Uh, so I noticed that people can technically try to get into my island if I approve them. So just in case I do something foolish and, well, approve them before I'm actually ready, I did throw up these signs on these chests, and it's coded that if you put a blank sign up on a chest that, or on anything that technically can be interacted with, uh, then uh, nobody but the approved people will be able to utilize it. So that's pretty neat. So all these chests are protected. I mean, I can still get into them just fine. Ooh, yes, and you saw that just for a second. So, ooh, you saw that as well. Okay. So, here's the plan, guys. But uh, today, after we go into everything that has happened, and what I mean, everything has happened, I mean everything that I've built, uh, we are going to work on our smooth stone generator. Yes, that's right. I finally acquired... Uh, all of the resources necessary to uh, make that a reality and let's take a look at it again nope, not that one I've got 36 redstone now I will admit half of it half of the redstone I did buy from the market and part of that was to speed things up uh, but the other half uh, was actually bought within the market surprisingly if you get on in str at strange times during the day you can find a couple pieces of redstone here or there for a decent price. So I think for the most part these redstones were actually bought at about 135 or maybe 125 uh, per piece which is very nice. Uh, you know it, it definitely saved us a lot of money going forward and I've been selling lots and lots of <laughs> wood in the meantime. So um, as I buy a little you know a couple pieces that comes with lots and lots of wood sales and uh, in fact, I just did sell right before I turned on the recording screen. So let's take a look at our balance real quick. And we are sitting pretty at 6,700, and that's been all the way up to about 9,500 uh, before I went and bought all that redstone. So, so yeah, let's um, let's take a look real quick. So nothing has changed here, uh, but I did start to work on on what the chicken farm is going to look like. I definitely like, well, first of all, as I've mentioned before, um, you know, I love the smooth stone brick. So um, most of my builds are going to be really smooth stone brick heavy. Uh, so if you can see over there with the tree farm, oh, thank you. The rain has stopped. Um, so with the tree farm over there, there's a lot of smooth stone brick in intertwined with oak um, and cobblestone. And I did, I've done pretty much the same here. Now this isn't the finished build, of course. Um, you know, it, it may change from here, you know, from time to time. Um, and, you know, it's not really... Ooh, and that is what's killed me. Um, and it may change from time to time, you know, based on, you know, what I feel looks better than not. Um, but it's pretty... That's This is pretty much what, what we're looking at. And, you know, you go around, because I'm not going to fall through that hole again. That is the hole that killed me right before I turned the camera on. Dang it. Uh, so yeah, everything is looking good, and I mean, we're getting, oh, that's where all my supplies were. Yeah, there, there was actually some guy on last night, um, and I don't remember what his username was, but he was looking to buy bones at a, an amazing price. Um, I think he was looking to try to get it at, um, yeah, it was 300, 300 gold per stack, which is, um, quite amazing. So, I, instead of, and he asked me to, uh, come to his island. So I did do a brief tour of his island, and it was nice. I mean, he's got a neat uh, flower farm that he, 
he works with. But um, so he made quite a bit of money there. And before I went over there, I wanted to drop off everything that I had in my inventory, and I thought I'd lost it. So I'm actually pretty, pretty psyched about that. Uh, but yeah, we've been getting some good eggs too. And I had to tear down the stein, but we're actually still sitting at a, we're sitting at about eleven chickens, maybe. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, eleven chickens, chicka chickens. Um, so we are definitely well within our limit, and there's plenty of room to grow. I wanted to build this out completely first. Um, and then what my plan is, um, which is why I busted this hole open, is I actually want to drop this floor right in here because I want to um, have a nice, like, altar area. Uh, but I also want to be able to um, hold chests in here that I can use without having to open. So the chests actually have to be at this height. So I felt, um, I think I'm going to drop the floor, like, not the whole floor, uh, but like right in here, probably yeah, inside the pillars, right in here, I'm going to drop it by one, f um, by one level. And that requires a little bit of danger. I got to, you know, put a piece of water here or a source block here. It's going to fall down. I got to do a little, uh, water elevator trick all the way down and, and, uh, and yeah, so it's going to be tricky, but it's going to look great. Um, after everything's said and done. So, you know, we're going to walk in, um, you know, we're going to drop down a stair, um, and then we're going to have a little bit more room other than banging our head on the top of the ceiling. So, um, overall, I think it's going to look really nice. And then, you know, we've got these pillars here, which is going to, you know, it looks, the building is going to look really, it's going to be kind of funny <laughs> looking, <laughs> um, you know, with the fact that the pillars are so close, but I think that the overall look and feel of it's going to be great, especially when we have different offshoots um, and kind of avenues. So this is going to be one building. We're going to have the chickens. We're going to have a place for sheep, and we're going to have a place for um, for cows and pigs as well. So um, eventually that's all going to come. And I think this is just going to be kind of like the staging point. Um, and then also, as I've been working on the building, I did get the roof finished. I've actually destroyed the staircase and I decided to kind of fill it out. I'm kind of done with the sectioning off. Um, I kind of want to build a giant, mar you know, open floor plan. And again, this flooring will eventually go too. It's going to be a lot nicer than what we're looking at. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing, you know, sitting pretty. Let's look at the roof here. I think the hallway looks great. Uh, and you know, you've got like this wooden slatch, um, it's kind of like a divider that kind of holds it up and I think it looks really nice. It's, a, it's very stair heavy as you can see um, Which is nice because I can ooh, come up here and harvest uh, A little bit easier now again as this develops this area uh, These trees probably will move and there may be something here But uh, I may want to try to find a way to get to the second level so that I can kind of come up here and um and maneuver maybe have some you know have this i think what you know i may end up doing is this may end up being my epic harvesting eh, or not harvesting sorry my epic storage area i'm not sure so we'll, we'll see but um without further ado i'm gonna i will have to cut out real quick but uh this is our next step so i'm what i'm gonna have to cut out for and i'm gonna build the machine on camera uh, for you guys and with you guys uh, but what I gotta do first is I have to think about which location I want to to put it so we've got you know the plants here we've got the mobs here um, I may end up just kinda going off in this direction here so kinda have you know this hallway come out oh and I'll get into this in a second um, so I'll have maybe like an offshoot this way and maybe build it here. So maybe, um, you know, technically when everything is said and done and these finally get moved, uh, the entrance to it will be right where this, um, where the melon farm comes. So there'll be a pathway out. And I mean, who knows? Again, this is all interchangeable. Now I, this is all fenced in because, um, I was trying to get a villager and unfortunately I got a huge piece of bad news. Uh, I scoured the marketplace for the cheapest golden apple and potion of weakness. Um, you know, for those of the for those of you that do not know um, how to cure a zombie villager, you slap them with a uh, potion of weakness and or a yes, a potion, a throwing potion of weakness, uh, and then after that, you right click with a golden apple. Uh, and it has to be a regular golden apple. It cannot be an enchanted one. Um, and then they go through this transformation back into a villager. And so I was thinking, you know, uh, cr 
sweet i got a zombie villager or zombie villager block off the top now he's safe um you know hit him with the potion hit him with the apple break down this and then now he's got a little play area down here and that will act double as you know a zombie um spawner because zombies do tend to spawn with villagers um as well as you know a little mini marketplace but apparently there is currently a bug with curing zombie villagers where you do everything that's supposed to do and he just sits there you know throwing off his little far little particles um saying that he's being cured so but anyway so that's the reason for that um but i did start to centralize my storage because of it which is really nice um so yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's get started. So again, I'm going to build out that way, um, build a platform over here, and then I'm going to have my stone f harvester ready. Um, well, we'll we'll get to building it then. And you know what? Hmm. I'm gonna make it multi-level. Anyways, uh, now that I think about it, I'm going to build out this way because it. Anyways, I'm going to cut out now before I waste too much time talking, and then once everything is said and done, I will come back, and we will go through uh, the steps together. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. Bye-bye. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so I think I have just about all the supplies. I may be short a little bit on redstone, um, but that'll be really quick. I'll just cut out and grab a couple more pieces because I've got plenty of money. Um, so I... I've got seven redstone repeaters, and where I think I ran out, uh, I think that, uh, no, I know that I forgot that how you build a redstone repeater. Now, um, I'm not going to actually build another one, because that would definitely put me short. Um, for those that don't know, you put three smooth stone at the bottom, uh, you get one uh, redstone in the middle, and two torches, and there you go, you've got a redstone repeater. Um, and this device has multiple us uses, it's... Um, it's used to lengthen a signal. You can also use it to direct uh, multiple different redstone paths alongside of each other. Uh, and you can also use it to change the timing of a signal. So you can put delays uh, and whatnot. So I'm actually going to throw a lot of this stuff right here. I'm going to throw it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw it all. Throw it all in there. And I'm going to take what I need while I need it. So I'm going to use some cobblestone. Um, that should be good, and I'm going to hold on. Um, yeah, so I've actually got the picture. Ooh, and I need one lever. Cobblestone. One lever. There we go. All right, so the first step is to set up the clock and uh, activation mechanism. Um, and I've kind of used two different methods. This is kind of um, a method that I I the clock itself um, I used from one smooth stone generator design, um, and then I, because, like I mentioned in an earlier episode, um, it did not actually um, pan out right because is this enough space? I need one, two, three, four. So, I don't actually have a pick. You want to know why? Because I died. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I died again. And I, <laughs> I died trying to build that platform. Um, foolish me. I decided to... Where did I put my sticks? It is, duh, right there. I decided to build a half slab underneath me, and it decided to glitch out. So, shame on me. You know, I need to get one of these deaths on camera someday because it's really entertaining. You know, you, you fall through and you just kind of look up uh, and you're <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. Um, anyway, so I need four spaces to begin with. Um, so we're going to go let me get a build possibly a wall. So we're going to go one uh, two, three, four. I don't need those four blocks there. I need one there. Four high, and yes, I know it's high, but it's gonna end up looking a okay. Cool. Don't need you here. I probably will end up filling you in, but 
not right now. That. Okay. So this is our starting shape. And we'll throw the lever right there. See, it works. <laughs> and now for the fun stuff. Okay. For this first part, we're going to need a repeater, three redstone dusts, I'm going to need both the torches, and I think that's it. Now the reason why I'm kind of taking this one step at a time is I, you never know what's going to happen, uh, and I don't feel like dying with a whole bunch of redstone stuff in my hand. So um, we're going to have a solid redstone dot here that's going to get signal from this lever uh, that's going to end up powering that torch. And it also has this repeater going that way that is set to three. We're going to throw that there. Now that's being lit by the torch momentarily. And we're also going to throw the other uh, redstone torch there. And because this signal's on, that signal ends up being off. Um, and then from here, let's get it there throw another block there and this is where our redstone signal is going to be injected into our clocking system now um, the clock system for the spoo stone generator I can't not collect these guys give me your stuff quick 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 I know this isn't efficient and I'm wasting my pickaxe but I don't care um, so the clock system is actually built with two hoppers um, and a, um, a comparator, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm still not used to 100% of the newer redstone stuff, so um, don't mind me. But yeah, I believe it, yes, it was built with two hoppers and a comparator, and it, was also, it had an item inside, and the two hoppers were actually um, push to face each other um, and what that did was it created a back and forth signal that was shot out into um, the into the generator um, that fired all the pistons which is fun so uh, you'll kind of see it and so the only issue with that design was that um, in this server we are not allowed to build hoppers um, and that's kind of to eliminate the need for um, kind of the the auto generation farms they, you know redstone is allowed and things like this um, but they want you to essentially do some work while you're farming so um, so yeah so what's next I need I get that that's good yeah I got plenty of that Actually, I think I may run out, but again, it's no big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, So, what do I want to do now? Where is it now? Put this here. Put this block there. And we're also going to throw this block here. Now, I like to use a colored wool because that will, um, that red wool will be our on-off switch for, um, for our power. So from there, we are going to one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. There will be our power loop that goes off this way, and then the smooth stone generator will be out this way. And again, it's scalable, so it is going to go out this direction. So. Ooh, and I just remembered I forgot one thing that I will have to pick up, um, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, so let's pick up the next set of redstone repeaters. We're going to need some more pistons. Um, and we're doing getting a little risky here, but I think that we're going to be safe. Let's get these steps up. So, yes, here's going to be the clock. One, two,
Did I mess up? Oh man, I messed up. Crap. This has got to be one level higher. Shoot. And I saw that. And I broke. This guy, you set to three. You, 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 you there. Okay, sweet. Now we're going to go off one here. With a piece of redstone. Another. This is a repeater. And then from here, this is where the fun begins. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on. So we're going to get a redstone there and there. Get another block there. That shoots out another repeater that way. Throw that there. This. Oh, nope. I don't want you there. You. You here. You here? Okay, so from here, I do not remember off the top of my head. I will be right back, and um, from there, we will finish this off. Okay, see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to grab two more pieces of redstone and a bucket of lava, and the two more pieces of redstone were just to make the design a little bit more on the neat side. So, um, so yeah, so let's take a look again what I did. Everything here stayed the same. Um, and the reason why I needed the two more um, was I pushed, originally this piston was going to be right here, um, right next to this, but I like, I pushed it over one um, because there's going to be water here and lava and, you know, depending on if certain things break, um, this way there is less damage to the clock unit, which is the most valuable piece um, as of right now. And so um, let's take a look. So if I hop up here, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw the piece of water here. Um, that will be our source. And then from here, that's going to be covered. And we are going to then use this here. And use that. Okay. I'm going to put the bucket of lava right there. Oh, crap. I can't believe I just did that. Well, there goes $500. I'm going to have to take a risk. That really, really, really just sucked. Um, so, yeah, guys, do not fill in your lava pool before you use it because you're not going to be able to use the lava anymore. It's gone. Crap. Uh, just pretend you never saw that. All right, so this is going to go here, um, and we're going to block this off for now. Boop. That's where that is. All right, so with any luck, this thing is going to work. <laughs> 
So the way it's been filled in is essentially um, right here is where it's going to be pushed out. Nope, uh, I need to do something real quick. Boom, there we go. Um, so the stone is going to come out right here. Um, so I'm actually going to fill this. Nope, yeah, right here. As a platform. Real quick. This will help us destroy. We have easy access. There we go, buff. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our smooth stone generator. And as you can see, it's working kind of funky, but boom, boom, boom. And the nice thing about this design is that it's extremely scalable. Again, uh, I could just have to add one section along down the road. You know what I'm done? Boop. Done. Beautiful. I am super excited. So... We just got a huge, and I, and I mean an absolutely huge accomplishment <laughs> done. Um, let's, again, double check to make sure that everything is okay. We will open this up, and we still have got lava. That's the key. Did I just do it again? Nope, we're good. All right, so we still have lava. We still have water. And that's going to be it, guys. So for the next off-camera bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, clean this up. This is really on the messy side. Obviously, everything's exposed and kind of um, in danger, if you will. So uh, I'm going to block all this off and make it kind of like a, its own building. And then we're going to play around with our... Um, with our pickaxe that we've gotten and I've been holding it for a long time uh, it is time to unleash the smooth stone bonanza but until then guys that's this is gonna be it we actually got a lot accomplished and I think I'm a little bit long right now so um, if you like this episode you like the fact that we got a the smooth stone generator which looks like a poodle <laughs> the poodle smooth stone generator get the fluffy hat and the fluffy p anyways um, if you like the fact that we've got all that, s all these services set up, um, and you'd like us to see more, please subscribe, uh, like, like my video, and uh, and comment. If there is a way to make it better, then let me know because you know I'm not the greatest of redstone people. Um, you know I was able to put, you know, mash a couple contraptions together to to make it work. Um, but who knows, you know, you guys that are experts, you can give me some pointers and, and we can make it better. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye-byes.